So you guys were one. I'm hearing all you guys. You guys want the theme song short, so here we go. This girl reviews movies, games, and books. Sometimes she plays them. So does that. And when she does it with the cat, does that make her crazy? Does that make her crazy? Probably. <laughs> so, it's shorter. There you go. <laughs> Crazy Cat Lady or Martha Butler does not own the any trailers or pictures. I use them under fair use. Casey Snow for edge and entertainment purpose. Blade. This like it's all they did. Well, those years ago. See? No, I don't want to do any more of it. Alright, hi everyone. One more up to here. So. Got the dumpins watching both the show, Scott Pilgrim, and the movie. I watched the movie a couple days ago. And just finished watching the show. Um, the movie, t the show obviously took a lot longer. Because this is it. But, and I wasn't able to binge it because I was excited to watch other things. Like, I'm. So, I'm watching the Batman TV show. And. Teen Titans, and maybe I'll start watching, um, Static Shock, but, cause I need, I wanna do a history of all, on all three of them eventually, for their shows, but, I don't know, maybe this will be my, um, series, for the week, so, yeah, um, so, I have not read the book, the comic or whatever graphic novel, whatever you want to call it, since um, the anime one looks a lot like the art I've seen online, and this is like my first time watching the movie. Um, so yeah, I I don't know why it took me why I did after watching it now I don't know why I decided to wait so long to watch it, <laughs> but because this is definitely my both are definitely my vibe. I'm not really... So I usually do pick... Do you know me? I usually pick the, the anime version. Because I love... Because the, the anime part is more beautiful. But I like both. Both of them make me laugh. Because I definitely get both jokes. Because I'm... They, they have a lot of gaming vibes in here and stuff like that. I like... Unless there are spoilers in here. I do... So yeah. I do like how they kind of modernized the movie, because how long ago that movie was made. And I guess the comic. Because the fact that they we hear in the movie, you got mail, like... Was America... was, um... That was like 2010, this movie was made. Was, um... America Online still being used then? I don't know, it's... It's just so weird. <laughs> I should know, I was a... I was, out call, I was fresh out of high school that around the time. I was been out of high school for a couple of years, so should remember this, but I don't remember. You got mail was still being. I wasn't using it then. Was there people usually really using it then? Yes, we still did rent um, DVDs on Netflix. Didn't start using Netflix until I let until I. Won't, I moved though, so I never got the entire million thing figured out. <laughs> I think by the time I started using Netflix, um, the million thing was kind of gone. So yeah. Anyway, so I think both are fine. I do like, um, both the hu sense of humor in both. For a while, I did hate. I did not. Some parts I did not like about the TV show, because or the series, because I did not like the, the way they were going until episode, the end of episode two. So basically, what happens in the first one in the movie is that Scott has to fight all of Ramona's exes, all seven of them. And in order for her, in order for him to date her, 
and in the series they do not that does not happen said Ramona does but she kind of reconciles with her exes throughout the show and um, like sorts out what why they broke up and stuff like that and every, after she um battles them some of the battles in here are pretty funny um we really don't get a knives versus um Ramona like we do in the movie and so yeah so I did not I first I did not like the fact that Scott got taken away but until the second episode where he might be coming back I liked it I, I, like okay it's kind of like a mystery now um, and finding out that it was um, so spoilers ahead three two one it is the twins that took away um, the, the toy Scott and also his future self um, we see his future self two times we see it like when he's like 30 like um, a couple years in the future maybe see what is like 10 years after that and so and it's the last episode kind of me a Dragon Ball Z <laughs> so yeah they have a lot of um, manga they have a lot of animated references in this show like I see heart I see Sailor Moon reference in this one Sam when Gordon loses the, um, the Empire to Matt because Matt thinks he won against um, Scott so he goes and tries to become the boss X and steals um, Gordon's spot and Gordon gets humiliated and goes and live with um, the girl that cusses a lot what's her name uh, Julia Julia yeah, Julia and so yep and those two end up together and then I guess they're the ones who are going to be um, the bad guys in next season. Which, I'm not surprised, would be not weird if Gordon's not here. So I do like the two favorite exes in here are Brand are um, Todd, who plays by is played by Brandon Ralph, and um, Lucas, who's played by Chris Evans. Because I found it funny that um, Michael Sarah was fighting against Captain America, and um. Once Superman and instead of um a the Atom when he plays the Atom on the Legends, so yeah, I do so, and then we find out the reason why his older self went back there because he got um him and Ramona gone divorce, and um he's trying to make sure that they don't end up together. Period, and of course. Scott doesn't listen to his older self. I'd like the fact that they had Virtual Boy in here. Because a lot of people want to know what the Virtual Boy was. Because it's not used very often. They made that be how they do here. And they cut they reference Back to the Future. Because then um, how Ramona gets um, Scott. The younger Scott. The older Ramona gets younger Scott there. And is going... Um, using a rollerblades is going at 88 miles per hour back to the future reference. I really wish they used the back to the future um, music there, but they didn't. I mean, they kind of had, um, I guess, Wallace be Doc there because he has gray hair and there's fire. So I guess that's another reference of back to the future. So, yep. I, I do like the fact that they still reference the movie because, um, they have young Neil making the movie how it was supposed to be, stuff like that. I can totally understand why some, some people who read the co read the book, comic, narc, not record novel, whatever, um, are pissed because them this what people wanted originally. Because people who like animation and who likes would want it to be like the movie and, and be actually. But to me, I like it when um, they do where do they do a reboot of something. They the reboot has its own story, and that's what I liked about it. This one actually had its own story. I know some people don't like also that 
Major Ramona looks like a stronger woman. To me, she was... She's just more an individual that's always quiet. So, yeah. She still has that um, concept to her. So, yeah. But she's still individual and quiet. And I do like the reuse animation when every time she dyes her hair. So, yeah. So, sometimes I don't think the hair dye goes together with her highlights. But, what do I know? I'm not very good with them. Style. So. But. Yep. I don't know. I like both for different reasons. So, and they both have very good sense of humor. I do like both jokes. What has to do with um, Pac-Man and one has to do with Sonic. The same joke that gets um, Ramona to like him. So, I need to do Pac-Man's history at Pac-Man soon. So, I don't know. I'm not saying one's better than the other. I like both for different reasons. So one of the few times where I'm okay with both existing. So yeah, I think the other time I was okay with it was the Cinderella one. So yeah, the Cinderella rem um, remake, live action, whatever. But this is this is weird to have it backward this time. So yeah. And I like the fact that they got all the same actors from the original here. I know some people think it's not, if they're just going to use the same actor, why, actors, why bother? So, yeah. Because that's a lot of people's reason why they don't want um, them to make Moana live action, because they're going to use the same exact actors. So, yep. I can totally see both um, conversations of both. So I'm probably gonna get. Um, I do. I think I do like the live action one better. As far as I know, I think the live action one's actually more accurate to the book. So yeah. But so I'm probably gonna get the live action one act a. Um, a 9 out of 10, and then I'll give the animated one a 7. So, yep. It's funny. I can, like, again, I can just stand if you don't like it. So, I'll see you guys later. Like, favorite, and subscribe, and please don't hate me for liking it. Bye-bye. <laughs>